Sridevi Sarma, an assistant professor of biomedical engineering at Johns Hopkins University, is trying to improve new technology designed to detect and stop seizures in patients with epilepsy, which affects 50 million people worldwide. Of those epilepsy patients, about 30%, both children and adults, are what are called drug resistant. They don't respond very well to medications. And for these people, the only alternative today is surgery. Professor Sarma's team, including postdoctoral fellow Sabatino Santanilo, has devised new software that in early tests detected the onset of seizures while setting off fewer false alarms that would trigger a needed treatment. This implant has three components. One is the electrodes that sit on top or inside the brain. The second piece is a neural stimulator, which is the battery pack connected to a wire that innervates specific electrodes. And then there's a sensing piece that decides when a seizure is about to happen, and that switches on the current. The current stimulates a very targeted region of the brain to suppress the seizures. Basically, we're interested in just treating only when necessary, and for that, you really need to reduce the false positives. My lab has focused on developing a technology that builds that intelligent decision maker to minimize the false alarms, as well as minimize delays between when we detect a seizure and when it actually happens. Dr. Gregory Berge, director of the Johns Hopkins Epilepsy Center, is working with Professor Sarma to address a key question. How can we enhance the accuracy of anti-seizure devices? When I think of an electrical engineer, I think of somebody that would be very, uh, would be ideal for addressing this question in that they not only understand the theory, but they're used to a translational approach where they can take that theory and directly apply it. And so coming from an electrical engineering background, I think Professor Sarma is ideally suited to be asking these questions. Our dream goal is to develop a technology that's so accurate that patient seizures are suppressed 100% of the time so that they can live normal lives.